please put your hands together for Brandon Patrick. How we doing, kids? No, oh, that's it. I said, how we doing? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> just for just so you guys know, I'm currently stoned out of my mind. <laughs> Feeling good about that. You ever get so stoned you feel like a Muslim lady? You ever do that? <laughs> Trump's the president, all right? That joke's gonna make a lot more sense pretty soon. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Oh man, what an honor. Well, you know right now it's been a weird day, all right? I woke up, check my Facebook, because you almost have to now. Check the Facebook. I got a friend request from a baby I left in Walmart 10 years ago. I was like, holy shit, man, how'd you find me? I felt bad. It's like, dude, I've already kind of like unfriended you once, so let's not. <laughs> Let's not go through this again. <laughs> Let's hang out when you're too old for child support. How about that one, huh? <laughs> All right. Are you okay? <laughs> All right, can we do the whole thing over again? I don't... <laughs> can we move her out with someone more alive? Is there any way... <laughs> I swear to God, if you die during this, it's gonna fuck everything up. So just... Just be okay, okay? <laughs> All right, are you fine? All right, what about you? You're not looking great. You doing good? All right, is everybody okay? All right. All right, everybody take a deep breath. Breathe in, everybody. All right, breathe out. All right, that felt good. Okay. All right. I don't have any material. I didn't plan for this. I was like, it's like, uh, this will be fine. I'm just going to wing it. They're like, no, we're filming. I'm like, oh. <laughs> then I'll still wing it. <laughs> I got dressed up like the goddamn bear from Showbiz Pizza. I thought, <laughs> I thought this was different. <laughs> you ever do mushrooms and buy a suit and you're like, that's a nice black suit. And then <laughs> you get it in the mail and you're like, oh God. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> That's what I'm up to. <laughs> this is my full-time job right now, just talking to people, making sure she doesn't die. Like, this is, <laughs> this is it for me. I used to have another, I used to work at a place in Chicago that was definitely not Groupon, okay? So <laughs> if you're thinking I'm talking about Groupon in this next joke, I'm not talking about Groupon. <laughs> so anyway, I used to work at Groupon in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> And uh, every day I was like 10 to 15 minutes late. It was a really relaxed job. We got to hang out, whatever. And every Wednesday we had a pizza party, okay? So every Wednesday you go in the break room, six or seven pizzas, have a good time, okay? I was excited. One Wednesday I go in there, no pizza. And I'm like, uh, hey guys, someone screwed up. <laughs> and they're like, did you check your email? And I'm like, I've never checked my email. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I never did that before. And they're like, we got an email. We're not doing pizza parties anymore. And I'm like, we'll see <laughs> about that. Because I take this shit seriously, okay? So I, sh I get in group chat talking to everybody on the team. Hey, guys, probably miscommunication. What kind of pizza do you want? They're going to do it tomorrow, Thursday. <laughs> Nobody's responding. I'm like, guys, I think pepperoni bacon sounds good. Who thinks pepperoni bacon sounds good? No response. And I'm like, all right, motherfuckers, we'll see. <laughs> I go home, get on PizzaHut.com, order six large pizzas from Groupon to Brandon <laughs> uh, just for the next day to show up at my desk. So I'm, si I'm sitting down. They show up. Everyone's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, guys, you should have gave a shit. Should have checked your email, okay? Looks like the pizza showed up. And I could have at that moment been a human <laughs> and said, guys, don't worry about it. I'm willing to share my pizza. No, fuck that. I'm not willing <laughs> to share my pizzas. I had six larges, and what I would do is I would open the box, lick a slice, throw them away. 
I'm like, if you guys cared, you would have some of this goodness inside of you, but you don't. Just throwing pizza away. People are freaking out. <laughs> they hit up Andrew, the supervisor. They're like, hey, Brandon got all this pizza. What's that about? Andrew's like, oh, I, I, I don't know. And then I show him the receipt. It says, from Groupon. And I'm like, dude, you know exactly what it is, man. I'm employee of the month. And then people <laughs> lose their minds. They're like, <laughs> the things they're saying to this guy, who is our boss, are like unacceptable to say to like someone. You One girl goes, you motherfucker, that's why your daughter was born without a foot. <laughs> First of all, just to clear up any misconceptions, his daughter not having a foot has nothing to do with me loving pizza <laughs> and everything to do with his wife taking fertility drugs after taking birth control for so many years, all right? When you kick the gears, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Some of you guys learned a hard science lesson right there. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so they're shitting on him, they're getting pissed. He's like, I don't know what this is all about. Uh, I would never buy pizzas, especially not just for Brandon. Here's what I'll do. <laughs> How about I get everybody a one-topping personal pan? And I'm like, a one-topping personal pan? I'm sitting on six larges, dude. Do you give a fuck about this company? <laughs> and he's like, all right, all right, everybody, okay. This is the last pizza. I will get everybody a large pizza of their choice. <laughs> so we had that pizza party on Friday. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm like, dude, two pizza parties, two days in a row. Hell yeah. I walk in. Uh, I go to my desk. There's a note that says, see Andrew. I'm like, okay. I go in. He's like, have a seat. I'm like, all right, bud. Have a seat. He's got some papers. Slides them over to me. He's like, I need you to sign these. It said termination papers. And I said, uh, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Which they hate when you say that. He's like, what do you mean you're good? I'm like, oh, I don't want to get fired today. I got shit to do. <laughs> and I go back to my desk. And I just went back to my desk. <laughs> and just went to work. <laughs> and he was super pissed. So he tells HR about it. HR sends me an email. I need you to come up to the seventh floor. We need to have a discussion. I go up there, seventh floor. I'm looking around. And you know those tables that are like really long? It was one of those. But like the doors are really small. And I was like, guys, before you do what you think you're about to do, how'd you get this table in here? <laughs> They were like, this is not a time to talk about tables. <laughs> when you talk about your behavior, and I'm like, guys, if you're about to do what I think you're about to do, this is arguably the best time to talk about tables. <laughs> and they were like, all right, fine. It was a series of several smaller tables that we brought in, and then we put them together, and then we put another layer of balsa wood on top where you can't see the seams, and then we've strategically placed bowls cups and phones where those seams are, so you can't tell, but there are breaks in it. And I'm like, cool, that's all you had to say. <laughs> and they're like, all right, have a seat, have a seat. They're like, okay, so we understand you rejected your termination. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, why'd you do that? And I'm like, oh, because I wasn't ready to get fired yet. <laughs> and it was a bullshit reason. And they go, well, what was the reason? And I go, I had some pizzas. And they were like, well, you can't get fired for that. And I'm like, exactly, I'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs> and I, I get up, and they're like, no, no, have a seat, we're gonna call your boss. They called Andrew. They're like, Andrew, what did he do? And Andrew's like, okay, here's what this guy did. He threw a fake real pizza party. <laughs> And like the lead HR girl was like, Andrew, you can't say fake and real in the same sentence. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. And they're like, well, he threw a fake pizza party that then became a real pizza party. <laughs> and so they hung up and they're all looking around and they're like, you're not 
not allowed to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I thought. <laughs> and they're like, so we can't fire you for that. And I was like, that's what I thought. <laughs> and they were like, so you're not fired. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Went back downstairs, started working again. Andrew's like out of his office. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, dude, they said the fake real thing. That ain't gonna play. I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out if you give a shit, you know? <laughs> Weekend rolls around. I come to work the next day. My computer is off, all right? I can't get it on, can't figure it out go to IT, they're like, it's not plugged in. And I was like, good looking out. <laughs> Plugged it back in, clock in, I'm now 12 minutes late. My boss comes out and he's like, hey, 12 minutes late? That's a write-up offense. This is your third write-up. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to terminate you. And I was like, dude, good move. I respect that. <laughs> like you wanted something done, you figured out actionable <laughs> steps to get it done and you got me, good job. I'll go peacefully this time. <laughs> so I left. Two months later, I get an email from a friend. Headline, dude, you're not gonna believe this. It's a picture of the Not Groupon handbook. <laughs> Open to one of the pages and it says, no employee shall ever throw a false pizza party <laughs> under the pretense of using company funds to solicit a real pizza party. <laughs> so what I'm saying, people, is be the change in the world you want to see, okay? Yeah. Thank you guys so much.